ഐ ഹാവ് റിട്ടൺ ഇൻ ദ പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ വിസ്ഡം ഒരു നാട്ടിലൊരു രാജാവ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ അയാൾ സ്വൽപ്പം ക്രേസി ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ അയാൾ അയാൾക്ക് കാര്യം ഒരു കൂസിലില്ല കുറച്ചൊരു അരകൻ ടൈപ്പ് ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ അയാൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഒരു ദിവസം തുണിയില്ലാതെ റോട്ടിക്കൂടെ നടന്നാൽ ആൾക്കാർ എന്ത് പറയാൻ പോണേന്ന് ഒന്ന് അറിയട്ടെ എന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചിട്ട് അയാൾ റോട്ടിക്കൂടെ നടന്നു ഒരു ഒരു കവിയനും മാത്രമേ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നുള്ളൂ അപ്പോൾ എല്ലാവരും ആരും ഒന്നും മിണ്ടുന്നില്ല അതായത് രാജാവ് നിങ്ങൾ വാഴട്ടെ എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞ് ഒഴിഞ്ഞു മാറുന്നുള്ളൂ അതായത് ആരും കുറ്റം പറയുന്നില്ല ഒരു 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 നാല് വയസ്സുള്ള ഒരു ചെറിയ കൊച്ച് പറഞ്ഞു അയ്യ ഇയാൾ എന്താണ് തുണിയില്ലാതെ നടക്കണതെന്ന് ഗുഡ് സ്പോണ്ടേനിയസ് സ്പോണ്ടേനിയസ് അതാണ് നമ്മുടെ നമ്മുടെ കുറ്റങ്ങൾ പറഞ്ഞു തരാൻ ആരും ഉണ്ടാവില്ല എന്നുള്ള പ്രശ്നം ഒരു സ്റ്റേജ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എസ്പെഷ്യലി നമുക്ക് ഒരു സ്റ്റേജ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ ഫാദർ മദറൊക്കെ മരിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരു രക്ഷയില്ല പിന്നെ ആരും നമ്മളെ ഉപദേശിക്കാൻ ഉണ്ടാവില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഉപദേശിച്ചാൽ നമ്മളിട്ട് കേൾക്കില്ല ദ മെയിൻ ലെസൺ വിച്ച് ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു കൺവേ ഹിയർ ട്രൈ ടു ട്രൈ ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് അവർ ഓൺ വീക്ക്നെസ്സസ് ആൻഡ് ഓവർ കമ്മിറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ വൺ മെസ്സേജ് വിച്ച് ഐ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ പ്ലീസ് ദൻ അഗെയിൻ വി ക്യാൻ സേ Uh, the next uh, uh, thing is the positive thinking attitude that is very important namukku ingane parayam adayathu kerala is good for nothing we have labor problems we have that problem this problem plenty of problems but for your information from my experience i know that we have industries in now in uttarakhand himachal pradesh uh, tamil nadu karnataka and many other places problems are there everywhere problems are there everywhere the the magnitude may be changing the the style may be changing the issues may be changing but problems are there everywhere but but i told you in the beginning with the available facilities there are people who have come up in their life so what is the meaning of simply complaining the system what is the meaning of simply criticizing the system what is the meaning of uh, condemning ourselves നമ്മൾ പറയില്ല ഒരു മലയാളത്തിൽ ഒരു പാട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അത് കരയുമ്പോൾ ചിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ കൂടെ ചിരിക്കാൻ ആയിരം പേരുണ്ടാവും കരയുമ്പോൾ കൂടെ കരയാൻ ആരും ഉണ്ടാവില്ല നിഴൽ മാത്രം അല്ലേ സെയിം യാ അതുപോലെ ഇഫ് യു കണ്ടം യുവർ സെൽഫ് ഇൻ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ഡിറ്റക്ഷൻ ഇൻ യുവർ മൈൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു ഫീൽ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ ദസ് ആർ ഹാവിങ് നെഗറ്റീവ് തിങ്കിങ് ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി they will always complaining the system they will definitely they will complain uh, about anything i used to hear a, a, a very, very interesting talk many people used to say oh nalla manager mari onnum kittanilla nu nalla trustworthy aayulla manager mari kittalla pakshe endru anubhavathil enikku agana prashnam thonarilla the reason is we have to we have to identify people you have to identify people uh, you have to train them Uh, and if they are not good it is your duty to eliminate and uh, get a better one there is no meaning in complaining no meaning in complaining again no meaning in criticizing criticizing whether there are people i used uh, i used to come across number of you uh, know uh, entrepreneurs try to complain with a subsidy kittila i subsidy kittila for your information uh, we got in a, we got if at all uh, we have grown to this level i, may, I know some somebody from industries department is available here uh, we got if at all we had a growth mainly because we never tried for any subsidy we never tried for any any that type of because there is no meaning in uh, uh, waiting 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 by that time why can't you sell few number of your products and compensate that you may get some peanuts by waiting in front of any government offices uh, you have to run around pillar to post so why can't you uh, spend your energy in slightly in a different manner and sell few more products instead of waiting that subsidy uh, am i right yeah so simply uh, i strongly believe that government has to stop all type of subsidies including uh, including agriculture including agriculture because then only that the real meaning of survival of the fittest comes into power i have a beautiful um, um video
I wasn't ready. I have no arms and no legs, but I'm very thankful that I have my little chicken drumstick here. <laughs> And there were times where I sort of looked at my life and thinking, well, I can't do this and I can't do that. And you keep on concentrating on the things that you wish you had or the things that you wish you didn't have. And you sort of forget what you do have. And there's no point, I believe, in my life where I wish I had arms and legs, I wish I had arms and legs, I wish I had arms and legs, because wishing won't help. But what I've seen in life are just a couple key principles. And the first thing that I've seen is to be thankful. It's a lie to think that you're not good enough. It's a lie to think that you're not worth anything. One point. Woo! Life is life. Life is, is an interesting journey of ups and downs. But how that journey ends is up to you today. You see, when you fall down and you feel like giving up, when times get tough, it's not the end. The question is, are you going to finish strong? The definition of a disability is something that will hinder you from being able to do something. I think though the greatest disability is not having no arms and no legs. The greatest disability is your mind. The choices that you make. The question is, are you going to make the right choices? Are you going to make the choice to have your life in its right perspective? Are you going to make the choice to get up instead of give up? Are you going to make the choice to dream big? There is no greater disability that we have in our life than to make the decision to give up. Because once you give up, then there is no hope. But until you give up, there is that hope. Just because you can't see the hope in your situation, it doesn't mean that it's not there. You see, many people think that I have only one foot just because you can't see the other one. I've gone from a life without limbs into a life without limits. What about you? In fact, he's a very good motivational speaker. His uh, video is available around for two hours. It's only th three minutes clipping. I think it is available in YouTube. His name is Nick. Uh, friends, the, uh, the whole idea is how to change our attitude. That's why I took that particular video a small clipping of uh, three minutes, even I showed to uh, IAM youngsters and even in uh, Providence College. The whole idea is uh, try to improve ourselves. There is no meaning in complaining, there is no meaning in condemning, there is no meaning in criticizing. That is a message which I would like to uh, convey here. Uh, uh, then again, uh, 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 again my suggestion is we can have a uh, better interaction than uh, having a talk from one side. Uh, let us uh, hear from your side which is the area or which, is, which are the topic which you want to you know more about from me. Uh, that, I think that will be better because uh, nowadays I have so many points but uh, from my experience it is better to have a uh, better to have an interaction than a uh, uh, monologue from one side. Um, am I right? That will be better. Yeah, yeah. Then come out with uh, some your comments or questions. That will be better. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. How? You are managing the labor problem. In fact, I have can, I can supplement one of uh, my experience in my life. Uh, in the sense, we had labor problems earlier. We had labor problems. That was in 1985-86 period. We had severe labor problems. So what we did? What we did? Uh, I I was started thinking in a different way. If um, having this type of problem. Why can't I uh, get my products assembled in some other institutions? That's why I decided, okay, we will, we will motivate number of 
small scale industries uh, we will arrange raw material we will send our engineers for supervision we will train them and the production will be uh, will be taken from those institutions that way we have uh, for your information we got has more than 60 70 production units uh, all over india all over india whether it is a pump or a stabilizer or a water heater most of them are manufactured in different different units uh, organized units with the perfect quality control many of them have, are having iso 9000 and uh, we have strict uh, quality control measures and that is the reason uh, we got this uh, maintaining the quality and that way uh, what i am trying to convey here we uh, simply decided to change uh, if there is a problem there will there will be a solution that is the, my thinking if there is a problem there is a, there is a solution for any problem there will be a solution this is the way we uh, overcome that particular situation and for the for, for your information now we have you no know, labor unions inside the factories inside the factory if at all the problem had uh, was with uh, uh, outside workers uh, which we read in papers i hope i have answered your question yeah yeah please you mean outsourcing is the only solution for that problem yeah that is one uh, one solution which i can uh, i can vouch or i can share from my life uh, for example um, we need not worry about labor problems nowadays for example for your information i think those gone are those days now the union leaders are also educated union uh, the workers are also well aware about their uh, about their uh, the, their problems for example if they are out they won't get a better job of what we are paying from we got so um, uh, try to we must be fair that of course we must be fair before taking any any firm decisions we must be fair uh, in fact uh, i always uh, try to uh, inform our managers we must be f- fair but we must be firm parallelly before we must be firm we must be fair that is the attitude which i have so that's why Uh, we got uh, we have more than uh, more than 2000 people in our own payrolls all companies plus another 3000 people engaging in the in the production of uh, dif- uh, different different products in different different places uh, so the way we behave that is again important true i hope i have answered your question sir uh, sir in your yeah, speech yeah. you are averse to this giving subsidies so just imagine a situation in a country like india where no more than 40% is bpl below poverty line and just and not only that subsidies i being a banker see what happens you know is subsidies we expect the people to come up to the certain level by giving this subsidy maybe lot of handicaps are there as you said going behind the subsidy the government departments and other institutions takes a lot of time but still just imagine if there is, we have got this gas cylinder is there we have got petrol is there diesel is there suppose all of a sudden fine morning government stops this subsidy will it not create any panic situation in a country like india you know I, you know my simple thought is simple thought is we are uh, we are more attracted towards subsidies that is the problem we are more attracted towards subsidies than putting our effort putting our energy into creative thinking creative thinking um, in fact uh, uh, think about a, uh, what is the lifestyle we had uh, when i was a child school going uh, child uh, in our house there was no uh, no uh, cooking gas cooking gas we used to manage we used to manage with uh, other firewood and all of course cooking as is a good thing no problem at all no, no, but giving subsidy giving subsidy is the problem G- giving subsidy is the problem i believe uh, if you give too much subsidy uh, uh, you will waste it for example i used to uh, for example for a simple example i can uh, explain you we got recently uh, um, we have a corp